That it is market day at the Kakuma refugee camp is shocking only to me. In fact, just by driving through, one would dismiss this as a rural setting and not as a temporary reprieve for Salem seekers. Life unfolds here as it would any other place. It may be a refugee camp by definition, but for the close to 125,000 refugees living here, this is home. Take Zelalem Siyum, for example, a businessman who has been selling second-hand clothing here for close to 10 years. Mama, me. An Ethiopian refugee who has been here even longer, 23 years to be precise. I come to Kenya in 1991. Um, the first refugee camp is uh, Marsabit camp. The second refugee camp is uh, Bombasa, is Utange camp. So I'm transferring the data of uh, 95. Uh, I live in a long time. Zelalem, who says he left his country at the height of Ethiopia's civil war, during which his family was killed, says life has happened since he moved here. He has a family and a good business that keeps them afloat. I love Kenya, but I never go to Ethiopia. So my family, I love my family, I love my country, but not peaceful is my country. And he's not the only one vowing not to return home, despite the fact that with over 100,000 refugees currently here and the thousands streaming in from South Sudan, Kakuma is already congested. I asked this group of refugees, most of whom are from Ethiopia, Rwanda, Burundi and Congo, whether they'd consider returning home to allow for refugees from countries in the middle of genuine strife to seek asylum. Refugees are even marrying one another here, like Zelalem, who married a Somali refugee. The option of such refugees to return home has been discussed by the UN Refugee Agency, the Kenyan and Somali government, especially with regard to the registered Somali refugees in Kenya. But for such refugees, those are options that rather not explore despite the poor living conditions in the camps. Home is where the heart is, and for them, their hearts are in Kenya. Evelyn Wamboy, Monday Special.